Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah or A Single Girl Budgets. Um, if you are new to this channel, hello and welcome. And um, if you've been here before and you've come back to watch some more, thank you so much. Um, in this video today, I am going to be sorting out my budget for February and just taking you through what that looks like and then doing a bit of cash stuffing. So uh, before we start, please do like comment and subscribe and also hit the little notification bell as um, then you'll be notified of all the videos that i um, am posting so let's have a look at the budget the budget is on my ipad here so i'll just pop you down so you can see and i've done this in advance because otherwise it would take forever um, it's already going to take a while with me chatting. So if we zoom in, my main goal this month are to stay under budget, to put £200 into the TK challenge and to try and get my TikTok back. It's now been two weeks. It's really stressing me out. Um, mostly because that does give me some form of income as well, which now I don't have. Anyway, no more moaning, positive thoughts only. Um, in terms of my budget this month, so all the fixed stuff is over here and these are all my usual bills, pretty much the same every month. Although I did have a question, because um, I always forget which month it is. Um, council tax is, oh God, that's not a straight line. <laughs> is it February that we don't pay council tax? If so, I've got some more money to play with. And maybe I'll do like a little bonus cash stuffing, but um, I always forget which month. Anyway, so that's all my fixed stuff there. Um, I Annual bills, basically a savings pot so that I can pay for things like my car insurance all in one go. Um, all of like pet stuff, mortgage, water, gas, electric, all of those are great things. And that comes to £1,353.25. Um, next up in the budget, I've got my savings. So um, 200 goes automatically into an emergency fund. 150, it was 100, but I've upped it this month because um, national insurance went down um, by 2% or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, so I ended up with a bit more leftover money. So I'm upping that to 150, which is actually the maximum I'm allowed to put into that account because um, it's quite a high interest account and that's the rules of it so yeah really exciting and finally decided what it's going to be for it's going to be for holidays um i've got two uh hindus in march and i've got holiday booked in august to go to edinburgh fringe festival um and there might be another weekend or something like that so yeah hopefully that will help um 200 sinking funds and it's colored in green because i will need to get that out in cash and um, 200 to um, savings challenges. In terms of my cash envelopes, I've got my food, social and miscellaneous, you know, £10 a week, £30 a week, £50 a week, standard, it's a four week month. Very, yeah, exciting, again green, because that's cash. And then the rest of my variable expenses, um, got 100 for travel, although that might be a mistake because I'm driving to London uh, and back, so we'll see how that goes. Um, hundred pound for the cats of food and litter and treats. Hundred pound for self care. Um, although I have just had my nails done, so hopefully it might last. We'll see. Um, dance. I don't think I need all of this, but I just always budget that figure because it's easier to work out. Um, I budgeted in for the cleaner. I didn't end up getting in touch with them or doing anything in January, but it's still on my mind that it's something that would make my life a lot easier. Um, so I've put it in the budget. And then the buffer is basically anything that's left to take it down to a zero based budget. And that is used on things like, what did I get last month? I had a takeaway. I had to buy some filters for my extractor fan. Um, just random stuff that kind of doesn't really have a home. So yeah, so that's the budget. Um, what we're going to do next is, um, in terms of the cash, I've actually managed to work out that I've got this 360 cash in these binders that are here behind me. Um, so I'm going to find that 360 in cash, put the placeholders in um, where they need to go, and then we can do some cash stuffing. So I think I'm going to need a couple of these. 
need the two one hundreds and I need I don't have any more in here, I do. So we'll come back to that folder. So this is the savings challenge folder. And the one that I'm taking money out of is this one here, because this is happening at the weekend, which is exciting. There's already a 320 in the bank. And I'm also going to be putting 110 in the bank. So um, let's count that up. So I'm straight 20 here. Um, definitely need 10s and 20s so I'll start this way so 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 I don't want to have all those fives to take with me 10 20 30 40 50 yeah let's do that so uh 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, I said 110, didn't I? So 10. Right, let's just count that again because uh, I'm a nightmare. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Lovely is the right way around so that will be going um just pop it there for now and then i will write on this one that was 110 in the bank i could wipe that one off but um i don't have the nail varnish removal with me so yeah so that's in the bank and then this is the cash that i'll take with me so 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 which should be perfect for like a meal out on a saturday night so pop that back in there that's it from this folder and then um these uh next two are coming from my sinking funds so first up is car there should be 100 in here 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 perfect so that can go in here and then the other one should be home Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Just as I had worked out on the spreadsheet, so thank goodness for that. <laughs> okay, so that is three hundred and ten. And then I also have in here in my back to bank um I've got fifty. Um, and that was from a couple of things that I paid for on card when it should have been in cash. So let's separate out the denominations here. And then we should have 360 to play with, which is what I need for my cash envelopes for the month. Okay, let's get this thing. I'll count the 20s first. I may need my calculator for this. Right, one, two, three, four, one hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred. Then in tens, go one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus 100, so we should have 60 pounds in fives. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Correct, I can count. So that's the 360 that I need for the four weeks. Amazing. Okay, so last job to do then is to separate that out and put them into the, each week. Um, and each week gets 50 pounds for food, £30 for social and £10 for miscellaneous. So let's see how we get on with this. So week one, 
let's do food like this. We will do social like this Ooh. and miscellaneous. So there should be 90 here. So 20, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90. Lovely. Let's see if I can do the same for week two. And then one week's just going to have tons and tons of fibres. So food is 50. Social is 30. And 10 for miscellaneous. Actually, I might run out of fibres before I do 10 is anyway. We have food. Ooh. Oh. Okay, we'll leave those. So food, social, two, three, and 10 for miscellaneous. So that should now be 90, 20, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Lovely. So there should now just be 90 pounds left. So 20, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I can count. <laughs> Fabulous. So that is all in there, ready for um, February. You've seen the budget and everything. So yeah, that's it from me. Thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. As I said at the beginning, if you could like, comment and subscribe and tell your friends about me. There's such a wonderful budgeting community on here and I just can't wait to get to know you all and really dive in now that my old uh, TikTok has disappeared I can put more time and effort into this so yeah thanks for coming along with me on my journey let me know in the comments what you think about my February budget would you do anything differently um, and I will catch up with you all soon take care bye